now to go trackside for the fifth and final event. It's a triple whammy. It's the triathlon, and it couldn't be tighter in the Clash of the Titans. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lee Valley Velo Park. Come on! Yeah! It all comes down to this, the final event. Let's remind you of the scores in Clash of the Titans at the moment. Team Flintoff with eight points. Team Redgrave with seven, so they have a one-point lead going into the final event, which gives them a one-second head start in the team triathlon. The winner of this one will be crowned the champions of Clash of the Titans 2016. To explain how this event will work is our commentator, Simon Brotherton. Thanks, Dan. We'll know the winner of Clash of the Titans at the end of this race. It all starts here in the velodrome and reaches a big crescendo over in the aquatic centre. One member of each team will race each of the three disciplines. Let's take a quick look at the course. The first two competitors race two laps of the track. As soon as each crosses the finishing line, our two Invictus Games hopefuls will run across Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park then the swimmers will swim a 50-metre length of the pool. The first team to finish will be the triathlon winners. We'll take you through the cycling, and as soon as that's finished, we'll hand over to Andy Jameson for the running and the swimming. Andy's waiting for us now. Andy, give us a wave. Andy's ready to go, and so are we. But for the moment, back to you now, Dan. Thanks, guys. We'll see a full list of runners, riders and swimmers in a moment. But right now, let's learn a little bit more about the incredible men who are running the second leg of the team triathlon. I'm Mike Goody. I was serving with the RAF regiment and in 2008, I lost my lower left leg in Afghanistan in a roadside bomb. I took part in the 2014 inaugural Victus Games, which was Harry launched where I picked up four gold medals and one silver medal in multiple swimming events. I'm Paul Weiss. I'm an ex-Royal Marine. I lost the use of my arm and my left leg in Afghanistan. I was part of the 2014 Invictus Games team, which won gold in cycling. Since then, I've had my leg amputated, and this is my next challenge. So, on your marks. Paul and Mike have been training hard with Olympic double gold medalist Dame Kelly Holmes. It's going to feel really hard now. Go, 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 go. Oh, well done, guys. How did you find that? Disgusting. Yeah, I agree. While they get their breath back, there's a special arrival from a familiar face. Gentlemen. <laughs> How are we? How are we doing? How are you? How are you? Yeah. Good to see a cab on the running track. <laughs> you come to join us You're for a couple splendid. of laps. Yeah? Splendid. Splendid. I think the fact that Invictus athletes are taking part in sport relief is, is, is huge for us. Whether it's running, cycling, they're inspiring a whole new generation. So I'm thrilled that Invictus has a part to play in this. Only marks. Go. So what's the trick, just to pace yourself? People tend to go off way too fast in the first 200 metres. Paul's had his leg amputated since the last time I saw him. Come on, Paul! Oh, Paul, that's great! To see him running around the track now, it's great to see. And Mike, you know, you just plucked an RAF guy out of the pool and sent him around the track. It's fantastic. Keep it going, Mike! Great! Keep on, going! Oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> well, Mike. Well done, Mike. Prince Harry really does care about us. So it's nice to see his spurring us on. Didn't bring his running blazer, did he? Hey? I can reveal that. I'm not going to reveal. Aww. All I'm going to say is it's 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 uh, it's pretty close and um, and good luck on the night. Just got to remember, don't go off too fast. Given their competitive edge, it's going to be a really great race. I'm going to give it everything I've got, even if I have to crawl over that finishing line. I can't let anybody down, especially myself and Big Steve. So, Mike, sorry, pal. Game up. That's amazing stuff. That's when Harry met Kelly, Paul and Mike. I think we're about ready to get this thing started. So let's hand to the commentary team of Rob Hales first up and Simon Brotherton. I think we're ready for this one, aren't we, Rob? We're all over it. And the two teams are limbering up for the race of their lives. Here on the track, it's a battle of the broadcasters as BBC newsreader Sophie Rayworth takes on Radio 1's Clara Ampho. Then raring to go outside the copper box are our Invicta athletes with royal approval, Mike Goody and Paul Weiss. And for the final leg, we have team captain Freddie Flintoff. And for team Redgrave, we have Dan Snow. One of these two men will clinch victory. And remember, the difference in points from tonight's four events so far have been converted to seconds for this final decider. And it couldn't be closer. 
as Team Flintoff were one point ahead, first to go on the track with a one second head start will be Sophie Rayworth. And she's away, and the second beep is for Clara Ampho. So, BBC One newsreader Sophie Rayworth in the red, and on the other side of the track, in the blue, Clara Ampho, the mid morning presenter on Radio One. Well, I have to say, it's a much better start there, much more solid start by Sophie. And this event, it's so short, you just do not hold back. It's all about pure speed. Get out, get on the gear, and here we go. Two laps of the track. Well, what a welcome sound that'll be for Sophie Rayworth and for Clara as well. They've taken the bell almost halfway around the last lap. Sophie Rayworth here opening up a bit of a lead. It looks like she's actually enjoying it as well. Oh, it's hard work, it may only be two laps, but it's really starting to hurt now. But there will be a gap here, and an advantage for Team Flintoff. Let's go straight to Andy Jameson. Well, from the fiery cauldron of the Olympic Velodrome to the breezy freedom of the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. And we have our two heroes from Prince Harry's incredible Invictus Games. And here we go, this is Mike Goody. Goody's off, and now the commando who refused to die, the ex-Marine Corporal Paul Weiss in the blue. And this is Mike Goody now. Dame Kelly Holmes said, do not go off too fast. It looks like they've gone off relatively well. And this is Mike Goody. And just before we started, I have to say, I was having a quick chat with Dave Henson, the Great Britain Invictus team captain. And he said, this is not just about Flintoff against Redgrave. It's Royal Marines against the Royal Air Force. Mike Goody, the Royal Air Force and Paul Weiss of the Royal Marines. And look at this, looks very comfortable indeed. Well, there's what a, maybe a, a 20 meter gap now. Goody leading for Team Flintoff. Paul Weiss just behind him, but he's tracking him and tracking him well. Now, interestingly, also Henson said, maybe one key factor here may well be that Paul Weiss has only just lost his leg just 18 months ago, whereas Goody's lost his about, well, maybe four or five years ago. And I can tell you at the uh, Aquatic Centre, we have Ori with Freddie and Dan Snow. They are ready to go. Thanks, Andy. I've got with me the guys that could yet make all the difference. Freddie Flintoff, your man's in front just now. So are you visualising as captain coming down here and winning the Clash of Titans side? Yeah, I'm trying to visualise, trying to concentrate. Mike's doing well here, but he's, he's catching him, isn't it? It's going to be tight, this. It's really going to be tight, Dan. You might have to claw a little bit of time back if you've got it in you. Yeah, I think, well, I'm hoping... Oh, Paul's coming oh, through now. Yes. Thank you. He's doing me a favour. He's doing me a big favour there. Come on, mate. Run it there. is really, really tight. And he's back up to you. Well, Paul Weiss was really tracking Mike Goody there. Has he gone off too quick in that centre section? It looks like Goody started to look at this team. They really are getting into it. Goody, has he, has he timed it really well here? They're both struggling a little bit, a tiny little bit of an incline here. And then they go down and alongside the uh, alongside the canal. And is Paul Weiss starting to tie up? Mike Goody starting to pull away again. Uh, look at these two athletes. Well, here is Mike Goody. He must have about 200 metres to go at this stage. 200 metres to go. Come on, Paul Weiss at the back there. He's run very well indeed. He's not out of this yet at all, the Royal Marine. Well, there's the cyclists. And the cyclists, what a great race that was. But now there's 50 metres to go. Just 50 metres to go, and they're entering the building now. And it's Mike Goody leading for Team Flintoff. Now, as soon as they pass that uh, finishing line, the swimmers can go. Flintoff is off. Flintoff on the left-hand side. And it's Dan Snow on the right-hand side. Snow in the blue. Flintoff in the red, and Flintoff looks very good indeed. Well, these conditions, they really should suit Flintoff. It's humid, it's overcast. It really should be suiting a, uh, a fast bowler, and he's got a bit of a fast bowler's stroke, a little bit of an in-swinger on that left-hand side. But look at the effort here. Fantastic effort from Freddie Flintoff. But coming back is Snow. Snow is coming back very fast indeed. Can he make it on the far side? Get your head down, Dan Snow. Five metres to go, it looks like may well be. Freddie Flintoff is going to win the 2016 Games. What a fantastic race it was, and so close in the end. Utterly brilliant. Brilliant it was. Freddie Flintoff, well, he was slowing down at the end. Dan the Dolphin was catching him. Dan in the blue. 
What a brilliant swim that was. Well, the final five metres, and it really was very tight indeed, but Freddie Flintoff anchoring his team to triathlon gold, and with it, the 2016 Clash of the Titans glory. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our Clash of the Titans champions, Team Flintoff! Anyway, Freddie, I want to grab a quick word with you, mate. Don't you dare, don't you dare. That was sensational. Could you feel him breathing down your neck? I didn't know where he was. I just put my head down and kept going. Then I turned around, he was right next to me. He's like a fish, him, isn't he? <laughs> That's why they put him on the final leg, Dan Snow. Oh, my goodness, you made that as tight as Tiger. Don't you dare, Flintoff. <laughs> two, two race against Freddie, two defeats for me. He's too good. Didn't he do well, though, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Not quite good enough, though. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions, Team Flintoff. Yeah. And let's quickly chat to you, Paul. Oh, my goodness, you had a bit of a head start to catch up, but you made, you made really good work of that. Yeah. I thought uh, it had been a bit closer, to be honest. Um, there was a bit of a head start, but I thought it was doable. And, uh, you know, I got him on the bridge, and I thought, well, the tank was running pretty empty by then, but I just tried to get on his heels and give Dan his best shot as I could when he got to the pool, but, you know, they deserve to win overall. Mikey was bearing down on you. He really, really was, but you've got a barrel, you've got a tank in you as well. How was that run? Because you must be pooped, my friend. I'm, I'm absolutely hanging out, but I don't even know where he came from, you know. I'm tagging along, thinking, yeah, let's go for this. And out of nowhere, literally, I didn't even hear him coming. Out there, he was there, I was like, oh, I've got to dig on something here, so... Well done, mate. Well, well done to these two. Well done to our team captains. It is Team Flintoff who take the Clash of the Titans title. We will be back here very shortly for a very special victory ceremony. You won't want to miss it. Wow. What a win. Amazing. Congratulations to Team Flintoff. What a way to finish.